Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and as you can see from the title below, today we're gonna be diving into all of my Sephora VIP sale recommendations that I think you should check out during this spring sale. But specifically, we're focusing on fragrance and makeup. I feel like I could not do body care and skincare in this video too because guys, we would be here all day. So I'm gonna be dividing it into two separate videos. So the next video inshallah will be all skincare and body care must haves that I think you should check out. But today we're gonna focus on beauty and a little bit of fragrance. So I have a whole lot of products in front of me so with that being said go ahead and get comfortable pull up your Sephora app or the site all of the products that I'm gonna be putting you guys onto are definitely worth your coin so let's get to it So the first category we're diving into today is primer. And just to give you guys a little bit of a reference on my skin type, I have dryskin.com, okay? And honestly, a lot of the complexion products are definitely dry skin girl friendly, okay? So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. And the first primer that we got over here is from Urban Decay. As you can see, it is well loved, guys. I live for this primer. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It's my go-to primer, especially like, let's say if I'm gonna be out all day and I want my makeup to to really last and have a primer to really grip my foundation and complexion products in place but it's also very hydrating on the skin this one right here is going to deliver every single time and as always all the products that we are talking about today are going to be linked in the description box below and i'm also on ltk now so if any of you guys use the ltk app i'll make sure to create a whole page just for the sephora vib sale as well so you can directly go ahead and shop from my ltk and if you're on ltk make sure you guys go ahead and follow me there because every single look that i post on on all of my platforms. I'll be making sure to link all the products there for you guys as well. With that being said, the next primer that I wanna talk to you guys about today is from Refi. And this is their Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. I'm sure you've seen all the girlies use this primer and I just feel like I love it for convenience. It is a roll on primer, as you can see. You could just like literally roll it onto your face. And I just love the glow that it gives my skin. That's the commonality that you're gonna see with a lot of my complexion products. I do prefer a dewier finish. So these two have been my go-to primers. Now, if you're looking for something to prep your skin that has SPF, when I tell you, sis, you need this product from Supergoop, okay? You already know I love the glow stick from Supergoop, but it is so criminal, the fact that the glow stick is not on the Sephora site. Like, Supergoop, what is happening? Get it on the Sephora site immediately because that is definitely one of my top prepping products that I would recommend to you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys the next best thing that I reach for a lot lot and when I tell you I've been using and abusing this last summer that is the glow screen SPF 40 it is their golden hour broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 40 sometimes you might want something that gives your skin a little bit of a glow that gives your skin a little bit of a golden warmth to it I could honestly rock this as my base and then go in with some concealer mascara and a gloss or a lip oil and I look refreshed and ready to go and most importantly my skin is protected okay so this is definitely a product that I would highly recommend. Now, the next product I'm gonna put you guys onto is not a primer, but I use it as a primer, okay? Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I personally prefer to go in with a facial oil to prep my skin before makeup instead of going in with a moisturizer because I feel like a facial oil complements my dry skin as well as all of my foundation or complexion product formulas. It allows everything to lay on smoothly, flawlessly, and it doesn't cause any of my complexion products to ball up. And the one product that I have been using, I feel like honestly for the past maybe three to four years is this product specifically from Guerlain. I feel like I always butcher the name. It's either Guerlain, Guerlain, but you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? And that is the Annabelle Royale Youth Watery Oil. As you can see, I'm literally almost done this product. I have a full size that is literally empty. And as you can see, it is well loved. I'm literally almost out. So I got to restock myself. I would definitely say try the smaller size first before you commit to the full size even though it is a 10 out of 10 if you have dry skin, okay? I don't even know how many bottles of this oil I've gone through, but I am absolutely obsessed. Every time when I know I want my bee to just be like chef's kiss buttery goodness, I'm going in with the youth watery oil underneath to prep my skin and it's gonna deliver every single time. Now it's a little bit more on the pricier side, but I kind of feel like that's the whole convenience and the whole point of the Sephora VIB sale is that it's the perfect time for you to invest in any quality products that you wanna 
try because you get such a good deal. So if you're looking for something to step up your skincare and makeup prep, this product is a must on my list. And next we're gonna be diving into color corrector. There's only two products in this category that I feel like are definitely worth your coin. And I'm gonna start off with this color correcting palette from Liz Wattier. This is their portfolio corrector. And I use the shade dark. I believe it comes in three to two shades. I'm not sure. It'll be linked down below if anything, but I prefer the dark palette because it has the tones that will complement my skin tone when it comes to color correcting. And color correcting is very straightforward. You want to use a product that really helps to cancel out your hyperpigmentation, your dark circles, maybe a blemish or anything that's on your face just to even out your skin tone so that you have a flawless, refreshed canvas to go ahead with when you go in with your foundations and your concealer and everything like that. You don't want to have those shadows of gray coming through because of your hyperpigmentation through your concealer and things like that. So it's very important that you go ahead and color correct. And I just really, really love this palette. And if I'm not going in with that, then chances are I'm going in with my Huda Beauty color corrector. Moment of silence for Huda Beauty because I just feel like she has been stepping on our necks. Like Huda, give us a moment to breathe, sis. The way she's been launching heat after heat after heat, okay? Now this is her full filter corrector. And what I really like about these color correctors from Huda is that she has a lot of shades. Whether you're fair to deep, you're gonna find your color corrector from this collection, which is why I feel like it is a must have because it's super inclusive. So I know you guys will be able to not only get a really good color corrector, but you'll be able to find a shade that suits your, you know, correcting needs. So those are the two color correctors I would recommend. And our next category is gonna be foundation and skin tints. And best believe, I'm only gonna be putting you guys onto products that is gonna have your base looking like butter because that is all we tolerate around here. If the formula is giving cakey, we don't have time for that. We don't have time to look casket ready. We need shades that match. We need a good shade range and we need a flawless finish, period, okay? So the first foundation that I wanna mention to you guys, and I feel like if you know me, you'll probably already anticipate this foundation, and that is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. When I tell you this is a dry skin girl must have, first of all, you're getting a lot of product in the bottle. It will last you a long time, and that's coming from a girl who beats her face quite often. If it can last me a while, sis, it will last you a while, okay? Because I feel like I've had this foundation for quite some time and I still haven't finished it yet. If you're someone who wants to pick up products that will last you a while during this sale, I'm telling you, check out the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. First of all, I love that you can build it up to a full coverage. You can also just go in with a light amount and sheer it out to be more of a skin tint and it will look beautiful. It will deliver. It will have your skin looking so healthy. And one thing about NARS, the shade range is always on point. So I feel like you'll definitely be able to find a good shade. Now another luminous, buttery goodness foundation is definitely this one from Giorgio Armani. And the glow is in the name. So that's how you know it's gonna eat, okay? This is their Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I mean, the title itself, it says what we needed to give, okay? It says luminous, it says glow, it says flawless. And that's what she's gonna give, okay? I absolutely love this foundation, especially when it's more hotter outside. I always gravitate towards this formula because it's so lightweight. You don't really feel like you're wearing foundation. And that's what I really like about this one. I feel like it's more up to a more medium coverage. I would say sheer to medium. So if that's more your speed, this is definitely a skin like finish foundation. Whereas with the NARS, you can build it up to be like full, full coverage. Now the next foundation is from Makeup Forever. This is a new one that I've been loving actually. And this is their HD Skin Hydro Glow Undetectable Skin Booster Foundation. But this formula though, I feel like is insane. It just gives skin. And what I really like about it is that it's literally skincare meets makeup. And I honestly love any formula that focuses on skincare because I know it's gonna have my base looking like what? Butter, okay? <laughs> and that's all I want, especially for dry skin. I feel like a lot of products can be a quick hit or miss, okay? So you gotta make sure that the complexion products eat. And this one, guys, is going to be a foundation to watch this year, honestly. I think it is so good. It went viral on TikTok and rightly so because it delivers. The first night that I tried it, I wore it to an event and the lasting power on this foundation is crazy. And I got so many compliments. People were like, oh my God, your skin looks flawless and I cannot wait to use it more. And the next foundation I'm gonna be mentioning to you guys is a different formula. And since I gave you guys so many liquid formulas for foundation, let's dive into a stick formula that I would like to recommend to you guys. This is from Fenty Beauty and this is their Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. This is so good for my girls who want more of like an effortless everyday makeup look complexion product that's just gonna help to even out your skin tone. You definitely have to go in with some color corrector underneath to give you that flawless 
flawless base but this is more my vibe for like an everyday look my skin but better and I just like the convenience of it it's a stick you get the product all over your face real quick and it's gonna give you a beautiful smooth airbrushed finish there's times where i don't want to wear a foundation all over my face like for example when i mentioned to you guys that i go in with this product from super Goop. i might take this fenty stick and just apply the foundation on areas that i feel like i need a little more coverage like just around my mouth area for example because that's where i have a little more hyperpigmentation and my base will give flawless perfection and another product that i would recommend from fenty beauty as well for that effortless look is their ease drop blurring skin tint now this is a liquid formula this one is also so beautiful on the skin the coverage is amazing like I was honestly so shocked when I tried it for the first time because first of all I was so late to the movement this product has been out for so long but I just only recently tried it I would say a couple of months ago and it's amazing this is the main skin tint that I'm recommending to you guys today now, the next product on my list is concealer and surprisingly I only have one product in this category that's how you know it is everything okay and that is the the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is actually their Faux Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. This has to be the best concealer on the market right now, in my opinion. This is a concealer I'm using every single day. But of course, when I'm filming, I like to switch it up and show you guys different formulas that I also really enjoy. But on a day-to-day, -day, the holy grail for me of all concealers is this one from Huda Beauty. You get full coverage. Like this concealer, it will take away your disrespectful dark circles and just act like it's not there, okay? Because let me tell you sometimes my dark circles be reaching a level of disrespect that i don't need the world to see but this concealer right here she's gonna make those circles non-existent and that's exactly what i need for my concealer so this concealer from huda a must-have so our next category that we're gonna dive into is bronzer now these bronzers guys let me tell you i use them religiously and two of them are new favorites and one of them is an og that you guys have seen in pretty much a lot of my sephora vip sale recommendation videos in the past so the first bronzer that is the OG favorite of mine from Charlotte Tilbury and this is their airbrush bronzer when I tell you guys this is probably the best bronzer I have ever tried and the fact that I've been able to find two other bronzers that I feel like are on equal wavelength to this one is very shocking to me because for a while this was my only go-to bronzer because it just looked so good on my skin and also I love the fact that it is ginormous as you can see so it's gonna take you a good amount of time to hit pan so I really feel like this this bronzer is a must have for those of you guys who want a powder bronzer that is going to last now the next bronzer I'm gonna recommend to you guys is from NARS you guys have seen me use it in my previous video if you haven't already make sure you guys go ahead and check it out I did a full face Friday video using only NARS and you can see a lot of NARS goodness in that video so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and this is their Laguna bronzer it is the only other bronzer that I feel like is neck and neck with my Charlotte Tilbury it blends into the skin like butter it looks so so good the next bronzer i'm gonna mention to you guys is actually a cream formula and this bronzer just really stole my heart and this is the simi haze beauty skin suede melting bronze balm so this is what it looks like and guys it's crazy to think that almost maybe two three years ago i was not a cream product girly like everything for me was powder i did not have time to be going in with a cream bronzer cream blush like i could not be bothered my bronzer and my blush had to be powder at all times because i just like getting to the point but now this one oh my god guys when i tell you it just blends into the skin so beautifully and i know i sound so repetitive saying that for all of the products that i'm mentioning to you guys but that's because everything that i'm mentioning today is that good there are all products that are going to deliver that seamless blend so if you're looking for a cream bronzer to try definitely check out this one from simi haze beauty so the next category we're going to be diving into is blush and you know what's so crazy guys i cannot believe i was never a blush girl a couple of years ago you could could not catch me dead in blush which honestly is so funny to me now because i really do enjoy blush like before i just i don't know why i went through a phase where i just couldn't stand it and this cream blush ever since it launched has taken over the blush category for me and the blush i'm talking about is the cream blush from bosma beauty guys first of all let's get into packaging she's cute she's girly she stands out okay and i feel like for them to only have like two products launched now i believe the other one that they have is like a stick foundation which has insane matches you guys should definitely 
definitely go ahead and check them out. The shade range is really incredible. But for them to have two products and those two products deliver so well, like the pigment of these blushes is insane. The way they lay on the skin is insane. Like that is exactly what I look for in a blush. There's three shades that I personally have been enjoying. I'll make sure to link them in the description box below. Asma Beauty, I just honestly cannot wait to watch their brand expand because you can tell there's a lot of intention with the products they're launching because the quality speaks for itself. That's what we need brands to do in 2024. We want high quality, beautiful pigmented products, okay? Now, another blush that I've been really enjoying is from Patrick Ta. This one's a classic. I'm sure you guys have seen so many people rave about it. This is their Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Now, the main reason why I like this blush is it's very self-explanatory is the fact that it has a cream and then it has a powder to set it. This is super convenient. The fact that I can go in with a cream and then go in with the powder to set it afterwards and the shades work together instead of having to pick up another product that is a powder and trying to make it like go together if you know what I mean. So those are the two blushes that I'm really loving so far. When I tell you my hijab is just playing games with me today like ma'am stay in place like I just cannot be bothered to pin my hijab today but at the same time like I wanted to be respectful make it make sense. The next category that we're gonna dive into is powders and I'm talking pressed powders and loose setting powders. The first powder I'm gonna mention to you guys today is from Laura Mercier. If you guys watch my content I've been glued to this loose setting powder and Laura Mercier is high key the OG of the setting powder category okay. They have been dominating the setting powder category for years. Like the original formula I used to use that religiously in the shade translucent. Like look at how big this is guys. You get so much product so it will last you a long period of time. But yeah this is their ultra blur translucent loose setting powder and guys I really prefer the ultra blur formula. I think it's also talc free so it's better for your skin if you have more sensitive skin but also I kind of prefer this formula because of the blurring effect that it gives. Every single time I go out to an event people are always complimenting me from my under eye. They're always saying like your under eye is flawless. What did you use? What did you use? And no matter what concealer I'm using I'm setting with this powder. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a new loose setting powder but another loose setting powder that I would recommend is this one from Huda Beauty. If you know you know this is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I like to use the shade Blondie and the reason why I'm recommending to you guys another powder is because I like the shade range of these powders from Huda Beauty. These powders are gonna give you a flawless finish as well. Really do like the shade Blondie when it comes to more of like a banana yellow undertone. I've also really been enjoying the new shade uh, Peach Pie. So yeah this powder from Huda Beauty is amazing and I just feel like it has more like shade range than the Laura Mercier because Laura Mercier from what I remember is like three shades translucent and I think there's like a light medium and then a deep so it's not as versatile as Huda Beauty. Just like the Laura Mercier you're getting a lot of product for your coin which is good. Now when it comes to pressed powder to set your whole entire face I like to go in with this one from the Sephora collection. This is their micro smooth multitasking baked face powder. If Sephora ever discontinues this powder, I will be heartbroken. I will be devastated because this is my go-to powder to set my entire face. A lot of times, as someone with dry skin, I would really avoid setting my whole entire face. Like I would only set my under eyes and just leave the rest of my face because I just didn't want to look like a cakey mess. I would say I discovered this powder maybe like seven years ago because I've been out of uni for like five years now. It's been a minute, okay? I love this powder because a lot of the times like in the summer when I would just want, you know, to give my face just a little bit more coverage but not go in with a liquid you can go in with this as a powder foundation all over your face and it's gonna look chef's kiss and deliver this powder is just a must-have to set your whole entire face if you like to bake underneath your contour your bronzer dusting away with a powder foundation that is like your skin tone is key and the last pressed powder I want to mention to you guys is from Huda Beauty as well this is more of a newer launch this is the easy bake and snatch pressed brightening and setting powder this is what it looks like I feel like there was a lot of confusion with this product because because people thought it was just gonna be like a pressed version of the loose setting powder but that's not what it's for like even in the name it says brightening the whole point that Huda launched this product is that you set with her loose setting powder then you go in with this powder to brighten up certain areas that you want to have a little more of a snatched look for example if you want to like brighten up underneath the eye and then just right over here to snatch up your eyeshadow looks like if you know me I love to do that I love to have a snatched eyeshadow moment you go in with this powder this is not meant to be like an all-over face matte 
buying pressed powder like the one I showed to you guys from Sephora. That's not what she's gonna give. She is giving you a brightening effect. She has more of a luminous finish, I feel like. It's not a matte finish. So this is a product that I feel like every girl should have in their purse because it will come through to help when you wanna touch up on your makeup. And the last category for base products is setting sprays. You're gonna wanna make sure you have products to lock your beat in, but also to refresh your skin as you're going ahead and blending everything out, as you're applying powders. You want products that are gonna melt the makeup into your skin. The first product that I'm gonna share with you guys is actually from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Personally, I don't like to use this as a setting spray to really lock in my makeup for the whole day. I like to use it as like a makeup refresher. So let's say I go in with my setting powder underneath my eyes or just powder all over my face. I use this to really melt those products into my skin. Then I go in with a long lasting setting spray to really help, you know, seal the deal. But this product right here, this is a jumbo size. It's massive guys, <laughs> you can see it is so huge. I've had it for so long and I've only gotten like this much product used. That is crazy to me. Now the next two sprays are like I said, going to seal the deal. They're gonna lock your makeup in place all day long. And those setting sprays are from Urban Decay. When I tell you guys, these setting sprays are so good. The first one I'm gonna mention to you, I feel like is a dry skin girl must have. This is their all nighter vitamin C long lasting setting spray. But the reason why I like this one is because it gives you that glowy finish while also locking your makeup in place. And I feel like those of us with dry skin, we need that. So if you're looking for a long lasting but dewy finish setting spray, this is the one you need. But if you're looking for more of a setting spray that's just really gonna lock in your products minus the glow, this is the product that I really love from Urban Decay as well. This is their just original all nighter long lasting setting spray. She is an OG. This is the product that I really like to use, especially like in the summer. If I know I'm gonna be out all day long, I don't want my face to look extra dewy when I leave the house. Whether you have dry skin or not, your makeup is going to look greasy. I feel like a lot of the times people have like this notion that only people with oily skin tend to get greasy throughout the day with their makeup. But no, even if you have dry skin as well, in the summer, the heat is gonna make us all victims to the greasy base, okay? And that is why I don't like to go in with that setting spray for like on really, really hot days. I'm gonna be going in with this one because it's just gonna set. It's gonna make the products melt into your skin, but it's not gonna give you that extra glow. So the next category is gonna be all about the eyes. We're gonna be going into eyeshadow, eyeliners, and lashes. And the first eyeshadow palette we have is from NARS. This is what the palette looks like. So it's really nice. The shimmers are beautiful. They deliver. Head over to my full face of NARS video to see this palette in action. But I absolutely love this palette. It gives pigment. It gives blendability. It gives beautiful shimmer. And that's what I need for a palette, period, okay? Now the next product I wanna mention to you guys is like a beautiful eyeshadow topper. And I feel like you already know which one I'm gonna be talking about. Because she took TikTok by storm from Urban Decay. These are their moon dust eyeshadows. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try to like zoom it in closer so you guys can see. When you wanna just like elevate your eyeshadow looks, I just like to go in with my finger and pat it onto the lid. It really takes your eyeshadows from like, she's cute to damn. That's what we wanna see, okay? <laughs> and I feel like with Eat Around the Corner, please treat yourself to one of these eyeshadows because I feel like they are what you need to elevate your Eat makeup looks, period, okay? Now another palette that I've been really enjoying is from Too Faced. This is another brand that I feel like really delivers when it comes to their eyeshadow as well. Every single palette I've tried from them has been amazing. Now this is their Better Than Chocolate palette and here are what the shades look like in the palette. I just really love the fact that it has so many different tones. As you can see, we have a little bit of gold. We have a little bit of bronzy tones, orange tones, purple. We have a nice purple eyeshadow. We have a blue moment. Like this palette is so versatile. We have like a nice white shimmer as well that would be so beautiful as like an inner corner shadow moment. Like there's so many different shades here that I feel like there's no way that you cannot create a look with this palette. This this is also, I feel like, a perfect essential palette for spring and summer because if you wanna dive more into color, but you want some matte shades that are still gonna work for your transition color, this palette from Too Faced is gonna deliver that for you. Next category is eyeliners. This is gonna be really straight and quick to the point. When it comes to eyeliners, I wanna make sure that I got a pigmented eyeliner. Most importantly, that they don't bleed. And the number one eyeliner that I feel like I will always, always gravitate towards because it will never do me wrong is this one from Too Faced. This is their killer liner. It's their Total Control 36 Hour Waterproof Eyeliner. It comes in so many shades, which I feel like is really fun to play up for spring and summer. And another premier eyeliner that I like to use on my waterline is this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which I really like because it's another one that's fun because you get two shades in this eyeliner. On one side, you have a metallic eyeliner and then the other side, it's matte. I personally really like to use this on the waterline, but also if I'm doing like a wing, I like going in with the matte side. I don't know, I kind of prefer to go in with like this formula for an eyeliner because I feel like it's so much more 
are easier to control than a liquid eyeliner. But yeah, these are my two favorite eyeliners at the moment from Sephora. So the final category for eyes is lashes. And you already know what brand I'm gonna be talking about for this category, okay? And that is Velour Beauty, all right? I feel like a lot of the times people think like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy these pair of false lashes. And then, you know, after wearing it like two times, they're gonna be done. No, their lashes are premium quality lashes. They even have like this really nice liquid called the Lash Clean that you can use to maintain your lashes. So I like to take like that Lash Clean and I like to just clean off all of the mascara that we use to apply to blend in, you know, your natural lashes with your falsies. Or even when you're just pressing them together, a lot of the times your mascara tends to make your falsies dirty. And that's what makes them look more old and like you don't wanna keep using them. But with the Velour Lashes, you can go ahead and clean them and then get up to 30 wears of your lashes. You don't have to just toss away your lashes after wearing it two times because they're starting to get clumpy. The first collection is my ultimate favorite one because it gives glam, it gives extraness.com, and that is the Vegan Luxe Lash Collection. This collection is for the girlies who like a good lash, okay? You wanna stand out with their lashes. You wanna just give like, I'm here. This collection is gonna deliver every single time, okay? You can head over to my Instagram and you guys can see what different lash styles look like from Velour because I'm always wearing their lashes, honestly. So if you go through my feed, you can go ahead and see what lashes you feel like is more your speed. The Vegan Luxe Lash Collection, amazing. But I also have been really enjoying their Plant Fiber Collection, which really surprised me because I never thought there would be any form of lashes that would top their Vegan Luxe Lash Collection for me. But this one is it. I've been really enjoying the lash styles while Flower and Cloud9 from the Plant Fiber Collection. They just look so, so, so good on the eyes. So we have finally made it to the last category of makeup, which is lip products. We're gonna be talking about lip liners, lip glosses, and lipstick. So first we're gonna start off with lip liners. And I feel like lip liners, guys, they're so straightforward, you know what I mean? And even with lipsticks and lip glosses, they're so straightforward. Personally, when it comes to a lip liner, I'm looking for one that is pigmented. Chances are every time I'm going in with a lip combo, I'm going in with a brown lip liner. But also I want them to be creamy and smooth. First lip liner I'm gonna mention to you guys is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Lip Cheat. As you can see, she is well loved because it's sharpened down pretty low. I really like the shade Intense. Intense is a nice dark chocolatey brown. And then when I want like a not too dark of a chocolatey brown, I go in with the shade Foxy, I believe. Everything will be linked in the description box below though. And this is creamy beautifulness, okay? And another lip liner that I have been really, really loving lately is from Makeup Forever. This is their Artist Color Pencil. It is a multi-use matte pencil. So you can use this on the eyes and on your lips, which I love. It's pretty versatile, but personally, I use it mainly for my lip combos. And the shade that I've been obsessed with is Limitless Brown. But the reason why I want to put you guys onto the Makeup Forever one is that they have a lot of shades of brown. Whereas with the Charlotte Tilbury, I think it only has those two brown shades, Intense and Foxy Brown, I believe. It gives you a little more options, you know what I mean? Now this next lip liner is also super creamy. It's from Huda Beauty. But what I like about it is that it has a built-in sharpener. So you don't have to go ahead and look for your sharpener when you need to sharpen your lip liner. But if you want to get it back to its nice level of sharpness because of course when you're going in with a cream it doesn't keep that level of sharpness if you know what I mean so hence the sharpener at the back this is their lip contour I like the shade rich brown like I said I love a brown lip liner so those are my top three lip liners now when it comes to glosses there is three formulas that I have been really enjoying the first one of course is a classic I feel like she doesn't really need any introduction this is a gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty it comes in so many beautiful shades you get a lot of product there are lip gloss last you a long period of time, okay? Another lip gloss that I really, really love that doesn't give that sticky feel as well because that's what we don't want in our lip glosses is this one from NARS. It also comes in really beautiful shades. It's nice and sleek, fits easily into your purse, just like the gloss bomb. This is their Afterglow Lip Shine Gloss. Another more glossier formula I've been enjoying is from Hourglass. This is their Phantom Volumizing Glossy. I feel like this one gives you more pigment, which is what I love. Like I can go in with a lip liner and just this product it's gonna give. Especially if you're someone like me who has two-tone lips, it's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna give you that creamy, glossy finish, but with a good amount of pigment. So I feel like it's really good for those days that I don't wanna go in with too much of a lip combo. Now for lipstick, the first one I wanna recommend to you guys is from Huda Beauty. I'm actually wearing a Huda Beauty lipstick today, and this is the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick. This is what it looks like, guys. This is for the girlies who, let's say you're going out, and you wanna go in with a lipstick, and you want a pigmented lipstick, but you don't wanna have to be bothered to apply a three-step lip combo. Like, I'm I'm talking about lip liner, lipstick, and gloss. This is the formula that you're gonna enjoy because it gives you that kind of like nice glossy finish because it is a cream lipstick. I absolutely love this formula. And the shades, oh my God, 
the shades in this lipstick collection. Beautiful, 10, 10, 10s across the board. Now the last lipstick I wanna recommend to you guys is from Shiseido. Shiseido lip products are like just a 10 out of 10. Now this is their Visionary Gel Lipstick. It is a super long lasting, high pigmented lip product, okay? Now this one is not as like creamy, glossy of a finish, but she's still cute. She's still gonna deliver, okay? And what I like about it is like, look at how nice and cute and small. It's not too big and bulky of a lipstick, so it's perfect to throw in your purse. So those are my favorite lippy products. I'm trying my best to go through each category in like a rapid fire speed, guys. And now we have finally made it to fragrance. I'm gonna try to keep this category short and sweet to the point as well. So to jump right in, the first two fragrances that I really wanna recommend to you guys are from Kayali. Kayali actually has so many nice, lovely scents. Like Mona Katan has been delivering, okay? But the first one I wanna mention to you guys is the Utopia Vanilla Cocoa Fragrance. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try to face it in a way that it's not beaming off my lighting, guys. But this fragrance is so beautiful. But I personally love to use it to layer with my other fragrances. Like I use this one every single time because it has a vanilla scent to it. And I feel like it just pairs beautifully with all the other fragrances that I have. Now this is a warm floral fragrance. Now the notes for this fragrance is coconut, jasmine, and vanilla. Hence why I like to use it to layer on with my scents because I really love a vanilla scent. I'm obsessed with anything that smells vanilla, honestly. Now this fragrance right here from Kayali is a must have. It just gives spring and summer in a bottle. That's what I feel like the essence of this fragrance is. And this is the Kayali Eden Sparkling Lychee. I'm so obsessed with this fragrance. It smells so good. Sometimes I love to layer it with my favorite Utopia Vanilla Cocoa scent. And it just gives the perfect combination. Like Mona, she really delivered with this scent, okay? Now this is another floral scent. It is a fruity floral. The key notes for this fragrance is sparkling lychee, rose damascena. I hope I'm not butchering that. And then vanilla absolute. For me, it just gives me happiness in a bottle. That's what this scent radiates for me. So if you're looking for a go-to spring summer scent, you're gonna love this. Now to go in for the more like richer scents that I feel like I wear for mainly like nighttime vibes. I'm gonna start off with this one that I've been really loving lately. It's from YSL. This is their Black Opium Eau de Perfume Over Red. It's a newer fragrance. Now this is more of like a warm, spicy fragrance. The key notes are cherry, coffee, and an infusion of vanilla. Honestly guys, when it comes to fragrances, I don't really look at the notes. Like I like to go in person, smell a fragrance to know if I'm gonna like it or not. So I don't really look into the notes that much, but now I'm really seeing a pattern here. I love vanilla and a lot of the scents I'm talking about today have some sort of vanilla scent in it. And I'm not gonna lie, like the fact that it has like a hint of cherry in it really catches me off guard because I never would have thought that I would like something like that in a fragrance, but it's beautiful. Like it smells so good. And I really do love um the YSL Eau de Perfume. I think it's like the original one. I'll make sure to link it in the description box below because I was already loving that one. So when I got this one in the mail, I was like, you know what? I feel like because I already like one of their scents as it is, this one's gonna deliver and it did. And our last fragrance is so cute, guys. Tell me this is not giving grown woman. It's literally a stiletto heel. Like how cute is this bottle? It's very extra, which is very me, okay? <laughs> I'm a very extra.com person, all right? So I just love the packaging, but now this scent is by Carolina Herrera. This is their Good Girl Eau de Perfume. Now this is part of the floral family as well. Another trend that I'm noticing with my fragrances, honestly. I never knew I was that much of a floral girl, but hey, it's a warm floral. And its key notes are tuberose, jasmine, and tonka bean. I love it so much that I rock it day and night. Like I really don't care. Like if I'm going somewhere, it lasts all day long. But yeah, I really wanted to keep it short and sweet with the fragrances because I kind of feel like fragrances are a little more on the higher end side when it comes to Sephora purchases. So I really wanted to lock in and share with you guys like my top four fragrances that I've been enjoying lately. So I know this video has been a lengthy one. So if you made it all the way to the end, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you guys subscribe and join the family because I would I'd love to have you here. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.